welcome again in this video i'm going to show you now uh, to solve one error like i was working on a project and i got the error current request is not a multiple request in spring boot and beat today so i was working on a project and here what we are trying to do uh, in a spring boot and uh, like for the front end we are using react js and for the back end we are using uh, spring boot and while i'm trying to add the request let me check the database quickly for it so I can show you the exact uh, error that we are facing and will show you the solution as well like how this thing we can solve. So okay, so that's my database. Okay, so here under the edge category, while well, I'm trying to um, add a image, it's a test. Uh, while we're trying to add categories in this categories, what we are doing now, we are adding one category name and one image. Okay, so when I submit, uh, when I upload an image, submit this, and it says something went wrong. It's, it means it's redirecting me over the error page. And when I check my console, uh, and the console is showing me the current request is a not a multi-part request. Uh, Mike, you are also facing this issue. That's why you open this video. So in this video, we'll uh, conclude like uh, we'll see some solutions. How can you solve this problem? Like request uh, current request is not multi-part request. So uh, when this error will come, I have prepared a note on on, on it. Uh, it's uploaded over the code one. So there might be a uh, just understand the issue first. So the issue says the multi-part multi-part request is not there. It means uh, in the Spring Boot while we are getting the request in a part of our request part it's looking for a content type as a as, uh, like content type as a multi-part so there are two or three solutions that you need to check at your front end side the first one you have to go and check the, your form section and make sure you have a form as a you know you're submitting the form in type as a multi-part and form data so let's move in my uh, visual studio and check this is the category uh, form from where we are sending the data so in this form we are already sending the multi-part request okay we have set the uh, enc type as a multi-part <coughs> but still we are facing this issue so the next thing uh, while we are sending the request to the back end here here we are sending a post request and this we are passing a header Okay, so if you see here, we have post request here. Okay, we are passing this configuration as a header. So this is my complete request that I'm sending to my backend. <coughs> that is a method. So that is a, that will be post method. Under the header, we are calling a config. So here we have a config configuration. So in the config, we have set a content type as application.json and um, authorization key over there. <coughs> but uh, in this application type is showing me uh, errors so the next solution what we can do we can make it a multi-part type that's simple but when I do this and let's 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 I have changed the header section and change my content type and let's execute the request again and observe what we are getting now so when I upload an image quickly click to save and if I go again my console, you can see it says fail to part parts multiple servlet. And the last error, the request was rejected because no multipart boundary was found over there. <clears throat> okay, so this is the error. I'm going to give you a quick view. You can see it here. Hope you are able to view it now. So again, we are getting the issue fail to pass multiple survey request and it says the request was rejected because no multiple did be found over there. So it says like when we set this as a multi-part, it's not found in a multi-part. So what we need to do, just remove the content type because we already set the content type into the form over there as a multi-part data and we are passing data by the append thing so it means there will be a form data there will be a form data that will be sent to the uh, back end so just remove all the content type from your header section just keep authorization and other uh, configuration and save it and now try to execute the same form 
so I just refresh my page and so testing error choose an image I'm going to upload the same image and click to save now it says category created successfully that's it if I view my database and into the database if I check my categories here I will see the testing error is image is uploaded so in this way you can solve this error okay I will add this URL into the comment section as well so you can uh, into my description section so you can view and check the solutions over here in case you're facing any other ready to shoot uh, you can comment me over there so I will try to solve that as well uh, you need to focus at two plus only the data that you are going and sending here so there is only one solution you need to add this ink and then next thing you need to take care while you're sending the request via access uh, http or uh, fetch http you must need to take care of your header section what kind of data you are sending to your postman or uh, by the postman or as well as the uh, from the front end in the postman also uh, if i give you that view of the request so this is the right category so here into the postman also we are sending a authorization section into the authorization section we have a key and to the body section we have category data as a form data we are not sending any raw data at all so we have selected the form data the category and the image or the type of file you are sending over there thank you for watching hope uh, you it helped you and if you like this please subscribe the code one for more videos for more double related content thank you